because now bubbles are, are sticking and, and holding at the top. When I went to declare my majors, biochemistry and molecular biology, the chair of the department said, before you think of anything else, you need to think about studying abroad. And I knew I wanted to study abroad, and it was one of the reasons why I came to Gettysburg, because science majors were regularly studying abroad. Since I'm interested in health and public health policy and its connections to science, what I decided to study is a problem that's uh, Chagas disease, which affects primarily Central and South America. It's a devastating disease, and it also affects predominantly people who are impoverished. Hit in, in the blood system, and then they think. And I had Dave as a first year student in my Bio 111 class, which is an introduction to ecology and evolution. And one of the pleasures of having somebody like Dave in that class is that he always had questions. So after class, he would come up and say, well, I've been thinking about this, and what about that, and does this apply? So some people have done some interesting studies where they take triposomas that have been deactivated. Sometimes um, the wonderful thing about students at that stage of their career is they don't have all the preconceived ideas, so they throw you um, curves out of left field where you're kind of going, never thought about that, and that's a, a really cool thing. One of the things that I think was critical was because I was in Buenos Aires, I had the opportunity to do some volunteer work, and the volunteer work exposed me to Chagasic people, and we were giving rural care to people who didn't have access to physicians for 400 kilometers. Um, so one of my central arguments is to um, eradicate Chagas, government corruption has to cease. I think sometimes study abroad leads us to science, but then pushes us out and look at other ways to use our science, to use our science to rescue the world or, or to add, add hope to the world. This is a poster describing my work that I did at Penn State Medical School. Um, the poster title is The Role of Trip C3 in Erythropoiesis, which I did under the direction of Barbara Miller at Penn State Medical School. The point of this work is, is we're trying to figure out how red blood cells differentiate. Toward that end, we want to figure out how they differentiate and how to control them so we can prevent pediatric leukemias and anemias, which are the two most common blood disorders or um, pediatric malignancies or cancers that occur in youth. Dave has really kind of um, taken all of his interests that he's developed over the course of the four years at Gisborough College and kind of been able to merge them into one project, applying for the Fulbright, going to a place in Nicaragua where he can deal with biology, social justice, and use his Spanish anyway. <laughs> and I really see myself at some point fusing my public health knowledge and, and my public health expertise that I'm hoping to develop over the next decade with my basic science background and try and fuse those two together into a career doing something in minority health issues. We have over 90 percent cures of all of the health problems in the developing world but we just don't have people cooperating to fix the situation. I'd probably argue that if we would all sit down and work on some of these issues and maybe redirect what we're looking at as terms of redefining the problem, we could get to solutions really quickly.